shit at me. Gotcha, you piece of <laughs> You're dead now, fucker. Surprise, <laughs> asshole! Take some of this! <laughs> yeah, baby! Gotcha, you piece of shit! You're fine now! Un cual en inglés, eh? I got something for you, you piece of shit. Show it up your ass. Eat this motherfucker. Here I come. Avete sbagliato, ve la siete presi con l'imbecille sbagliato. city nearly burned to the ground in 1772 they rebuilt it all though well, not that it lasted for very long obviously good lord take erica in with you <laughs> well sir sometimes cold exterior was well known to those around her but was it not she who carried little camel her neighbor's son to safety when the infected attacked them? Was it not she who donated vegetables to the most needy during the immigration crisis? Let us remember that, Erica. Che cazzo è successo? Gerard was a great man. He shall now live forever in our memories. Sicuramente. Psst, you. Got water for sale? I'll pay half a crystal per gallon. Che posto del cazzo? Mm. 
Eh, andiamo a vedere qual è qua l'accordo. Hello! Questo è il posto dove mi volevo rimpiccare. Ciao, bellezza. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, <sighs> Master Alberto's gonna kick me out. Hey, what's a craft master? You're not from around here, right? Craft masters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the grand master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him, that he's slow and not very eloquent. But he's a real friggin' genius. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already oh, invented a lot of reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash. But he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then, I hit it. Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I call this invention the electric fence. Wow, che grande invenzione. Yeah, that's a little rough. Stressed goats can give bitter milk. Seriously? Goats get stressed? But wouldn't you, if someone electrocuted you and then went for your crotch? Oh, no. It's only a very small voltage. Won't do more than tickle them. So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case, you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic! Heaven must have sent you! Yeah, here. I don't know how to thank you. Beh, che ne dici di darmi qualcosa in cambio? Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen then, near the wall.
that pilgrim? Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? What? I wouldn't call it proof, but he was just trying to rope me into some shady deal. All I need to know. You're done, Julian. Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Sei nella merda, Julian. If you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottles. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier Marco always has clean water. Ma scusa, mi hanno detto che non la vendevi l'acqua. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. Il fornitore. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Hounfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. You better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Se ne è andato tipo con la strafottenza in corpo. You know, sometimes I wonder what we did wrong. Should we got punishing us for something? You look familiar. Yeah, the guy who almost got hanged. Why worry? You're standing here, aren't you? No, grazie. Look, we had no choice. If you had turned like we thought you were gonna, it would have been a massacre. I see. It was a risky situation. I get it. So? We good? We're good. Vedete ragazzi, basta avere un paio di tette e tutto è perdonato. Hey kid, you know some old world folks recorded audio time capsules when they realized the ship was going to hit the fan? You gotta look inside buildings and find them. Now, allora. Alla salute. because of this ridiculous blockade in the center. Looking at all the dead people. That says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. 
Yeah, then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Can't have that. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Those night runners. Tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. When did all this happen? A long time ago. Looking at you, you were still a kid yourself. Once upon a time, I came across two of them. Two girls. They were five or six years old. And it looked like they hadn't eaten for a month. What were their names? I don't remember. I threw them some old bread and took off because they were shaking as if they were about to turn. Red eyes, swollen veins. I don't know what they were giving them there. Those psychos from the GRE. Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. Everyone came to find a vaccine. Some for cash. Others to cheat destiny and not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague, but given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially, no one tested on children. But Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And unofficially. Apparently, some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest, well, they just scattered around the city, abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger or darkness did. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they will probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. Okay. Everything all right? No, it's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. B what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very. It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes! 
It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... a... Non può partire di cervello questo. Uh, Craftmaster? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come around to my Craftmaster workshop. Sure, thanks. Just uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. Povera capra.